What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to part number two of my final breakpoint booster box opening. And today we're back to open up another 18 packs of breakpoint. And if you guys have not seen part number one, don't worry, it'll be linked in the description of the video as well as every single part of every other breakpoint box from my case that I've opened will also be linked in the description of the video. But without further ado, let's get into the final 18 packs like check it out wow 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 it just like the 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 um unopened pack squeak like when they just kind of like rub together ah oh, the feels it's so good it is so good and um yeah this this case has really treated me quite well but um as i was saying in the last part we are actually still on the hunt for the espion ex full art to kind of say that this case has given us the completed set but um i also traded away my skylar so i have really high hopes that we either pull a skylar ex full art or an espion ex full art in today's part but we will see we will see part one um did treat us reasonably there was a lot of um a lot of hollows sorry sorry if that was like a spoiler but there were a lot of hollows so we are expecting a lot of ultra rare pulls in this part today so without further ado let's just get straight into the first pack of part number two of my final breakpoint boost box from the case not not the final one that I'll open on the channel I can pretty much guarantee you I'll open up another one sometime in the future considering this set does have dark row in it but let's go let's go enough enough said let's get cracking so we got a pet little drowsy Corsola we got freaky Ferrisseed all night party Professor Sycamore, Dunsparce, Reverse Dunsparce, two Dunsparce, one pack, shout out to Jordan Japan, and we've got Palkia EX, nice, so I've actually, to this day, sorry if this is a spoiler as well, um, I've only pulled one Palkia EX out of the whole case, so to pull a second one, um, even though it's not the best Ultra Rare in the set, it is still nice to, um, to get a second one on hand too. But yeah, awesome. So we got Palkia EX with 180 HP with Aqua Turbo and Pearl Hurricane. Excellent. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section of this Palkia EX art. I actually, it kind of stands out to me in the set as one of the better arts. It just looks really powerful with um, Palkia kind of like, I don't know, his arm just kind of like diving through um, the water. But yeah, throw that one on the back. And what a start to part number two once again. Awesome, awesome way to kick it off. So let's go, Luxray Break. Luxray Break has come through with the goods in the past. I did also mention that one in the first first part of the video as well. But um, Luxray Break does um, contain the goods every now and then on a the rare occasion. But yeah, hopefully you guys get something good from that code as well. I didn't really say anything about it, but um, you guys get the picture. Make sure you scoop that one up. But let's go, we got Phantom. Gibble, Shoulder, Sigalith, Psychic's Third Eye, Help Toad, and a Golduck Break. We're two for two in part number two. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 140 HP with the ability Hyper Transfer. Wow. And a Drapion. We will get the double one day, guys. We will, we will. I keep saying it, but we will one day. Drapion, regular rare with 130 HP with Poison Claws and Heavy Impact. Two for two. Let's go. So we got Greninja Break. Greninja came through in part number one of this box. We did manage to get some good pulls out of the Greninja Break pack up. Let's just get yeah, this pack open. Throw the code off to the big. And let's go. So we got a Petlil, Skrelt, a Corsla, Radata, Cricketot, Paragly, Bayleaf, Max Elixir, Skrelt Reverse. This one is just a common and a Ferrothorn and a regular air. 100 HP with Metal Claw and Spike Lash. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's almost disappointing to see this uh, this last stack of 18 go down. Another case, another end to a case, but it always means that um, 
with the end of one case means the set of the next set shouldn't be too far away so I think at, at this current moment it's about a month away so that's always something to look forward to and I will be going to the pre-release as well so um, that's another good thing too um, I was actually speaking to Booster Kings I don't know if you guys have heard of Booster Kings before um, but um, he also lives in Brisbane too which I found out just recently and I think he will be coming to the pre-release with me I'm not too sure if he's definitely coming but um we will see we will see so we get a sloking reverse rare then AG slash hollow nice so we got like the equivalent of two hollow rares in um the one pack so that's always nice actually uh, talking about pre-release I actually pulled this sloking um reverse rare at my pre-release as well so that's a nice little fun fact yeah, we got 80 slash hollow with 140 HP with painful sword and megaton slash. So what's that? That's like uh, three pull. Oh, well, three. Yeah, three pulls out of four packs. Oh, uh, that means we're gonna go through a big dry patch coming up very soon in regular airs. So let's get cracking. Let's let's bust through these guys. Just to spice things up a little bit. Here you guys go. Here is a code. Thank you for watching. The second part of my boost box opening, I know um, part twos always tend to do a little bit worse than part one, so um, who knows, I might even start to give out a couple extra codes for those guys who managed to come and watch part number two. But yeah, we got Blitzel, Staryu, Great Ball, Sizzle Spiralink, Dewblade, Reverse Psyduck, and a regular rare Luxray. 140 HP with Bite and Snarl. Greninja break pack art once again. Check out that barcode. I haven't really looked at the back of the pack too often, hey? I don't know. That's what it says anyway. If you guys wanted to pause and have a read that. I know, I just realized I never really kind of like looked at the back of the pack. So I kind of just look at the front and then just bust into it. But yeah, once again, we've got another crimp code card. I'm just going to put that one off to the side this time. You guys can believe me if you want to not believe me but um i have showed off a couple of the current code cards um throughout the openings um of my case they're kind of just there i'm surprised that none of the actual cards themselves have been crimped as well but yeah we've got a reverse rare meganium nice that's awesome and a pangora regular rare so awesome and once again like another reverse of a hollow in the set as well in this part, so that's two of them so far. So that's always nice. So let's throw those two up there. And I don't even know what number pack this is actually. We've just been like smashing through them today. Well, that's what I think. Until we get a good pull, um, <clears throat> I'm probably just gonna like just slowly but surely carve through these packs. But yeah, let's see if we can pull some shiny goodness. Let's see, let's see. We are due, but we've got a Hone Edge. We've got Glamour, Phantom, Gibble, a Shelter, Pokemon Catcher, Heatmore, a Great Ball, a Reverse Common Electabuzz with Knuckle Punch, and... Ooh, I'm not disappointed with that one bit. At all. Damn. That is a pretty card. That is a pretty, pretty card. And I was actually going, I was trying to trade for this one, but um, Pokemon actually, he, he had one of these to spare, but it wasn't up for trade. It was in his trade kind of binder, but it wasn't up for trade. But um, I was going to trade for another one of these, because just look at it. Oh, such an awesome card. Such an awesome card. But I believe it breaks my heart at the same time because that means I, I believe this is the, going to be the final flood of the box which means we're not going to get a second Skylar or an Espeon EX full art but who knows we may, may get lucky and get a third full art but damn that is such a pretty card such a such a pretty card I love it let's have a nice close up actually we got Gyarados, e uh, Mega Gyarados EX for like 240 HP with Blast Geyser. Such an awesome card. Wow. Wow, wow. I did not expect to pull a second one of those. Like, just out of all honesty, 
I really did not expect to get another one of those of Flark. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Kind of shocked me. This this box is themed so far. If you guys have not seen part number one, um, I suggest you do. But um, yeah, it is themed. And those guys that have seen part number one will know what I'm speaking about. I'm going off that Mega Gyarados poll. But yeah, let's continue on. Let's move on. So we've got a, a pet little Scrout, Corsola, a Rattata, Cricketot, Cloyster, Frogadier, a Reverse Valley. I believe this one is the first Reverse Valley of the box. And a Trevenant Break. Not even bad. Not even bad at all. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, Trevenant Break was the first break that I actually ever pulled um, out of Breakpoint. So, such a, uh, I guess you could say, nostalgic pull. Because I did get it at my pre-release. Kind of throws me back there. But we got a camera on regular air. One day, guys. One day. But yeah, let's continue on. Continue on. Such a powerful part so far. We've got some good pulls sitting up the back there. And hopefully can continue. I believe we're only just creeping up on the halfway point. So we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs after this one. So we're only just on to like the ninth pack into this part. God damn, if the pulls are this good so far, the last half of this part better not be boring. It better not be boring. But um, to mark the halfway point, there is a code. Hopefully you guys get something good from that one. I haven't really heard too much in the comment section below about the people that are scooping up the codes, but um, I hope you guys are getting something good regardless, regardless. But yeah, we got a Skorupi, Slowpoke, Glamia, Dublade, Tiano, a Romatisse, a Reverse Uncommon Frogadier, and a Drapion Regular Air. Seen a couple of appearance of, appearances of uh, Drapion so far in the box. I think it's maybe the third appearance. Who knows? Second or third. But let's go. Luxray Break. This pack does feel relatively thick. So we will see. I don't know. It might be the code cards just uh, playing with me. Because you can't really uh, go off thickness and, or anything like that anymore. Because the code cards just throw you for a loop. But let's go. So we've got a... Slowpoke. Radata, Skorupi, Pancham, Caricatot, All Night Party, Psychic's Third Eye, Pokemon Catcher, a Reverse Uncommon Electivire, I can't believe that's an Uncommon, and a Meowstic Relo. Ah oh dear. And it begins, the Dry Streak begins. Greninja Break, once again this pack feels relatively thick, so I'm going to say that it's got nothing. Just going off that last pack, I thought that one was thick as well. And it had nothing. But we will see, we will see. So, so this pack has a... Spritzy. Drowsy. Shelter. Whoops, taking two cards, we got a Trubbish. Ducklet. Tiano. A Swanner, Stantler, Misty's Determination, Reverse, and a Sloking Hollow. Okay, so this one was correct, so... I, I don't even know. So we've got the Reverse Sloking and the Hollow Sloking in this one part, so that's always always nice to see both kinds of um, alternate Hollows in the same part. But yeah, awesome. So let's throw that one there and that one there. And continue on. So what's that? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pack. This, this is the seventh pack left in my final breakpoint boost box opening. Oh dear, oh dear. I think we are due for a code card. We are due. There we go, guys. Enjoy. Enjoy. And let's go. Let's go. So we have a... Blitzel, Esper, Ferroseed, Electabuzz, Froakie, Slowbro, Gabite, Lapras, 
a reverse rare Aegis Slash, so that one once again is another hollow of a reverse hollow of a hollow in the set, which is always nice. And a Seismitoad regular rare. The Siphon Off and Shaky Fall. Mega Gyarados. Mega Gyarados. Like, look at this Mega Let's give this a bit of spotlight right now. This Mega Gyarados. Yeah, it's full art. Yeah, you can sit there like that. Damn! Such a good card. Such a good card. I am a big fan of full arts. I don't know if you guys know, but I just love full arts. I love the texture. I love everything about them. I don't know if I like if I had a choice like my back my little back display wall that I have just kind of like back there would be just full of full arts. But um, I could do it, but it's just too much effort to rearrange it all. <laughs> I'm, I'll be honest. It's just too much effort, and it doesn't look too bad as is. It's got a, like a nice variety up there at the moment. But yeah, we've got a Skorupi Reverse Common and a Shift Tree Regular Rare. Kind of looks pretty clean on the camera right now with that black background and the, re um, the writing there. Comes up really, really clear. I like, I like. But yeah, fifth last pack. Lux Raid Break. I believe after this we should have one of each pack art to open up. And I've managed to save a couple of these pack arts too. They've been opening up relatively nice for me. <coughs> oh, sorry guys. I'm still a little bit sick. I'm nearly I'm nearly better that the meds have been um, kicking in that they've got me on and I've I've really started to clear up my um my sinuses and stuff, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing. We got Skorupi. Slowpoke. So yeah, uh, once I get better I will um start moving on to other projects that I want to work on as well off topic of TCG, so that's something to look forward to as well. But yeah, we've got Cloyster, we've got a Reverse Lapras, which is an uncommon, and a Gyarados EX, so keeping the theme of the box, we have a Gyarados EX, and it definitely does look a like, like a pretty good card. Um, I actually just recently bought the shiny Gyarados EX uh, figure collection box, and the promo in that the shiny Gyarados actually looks sick as well. It looks so good. They did really well, I don't know. Definitely was not overhyped, for sure. But yeah, it's got Stormy Seas and Splashburn. Such an awesome, awesome, awesome card. So let's throw that one at the back too. Gen 2 Nostalgia right there. Gen 2 Nostalgia. Or Gen 2 Games, anyway. Not gen it, obviously Gyarados is a Gen 1 Pokemon. Pokemon. So yeah, let's go. Three packs left. Three packs left. Let's go. So we got a Growlithe, Esper, Psyduck, Seedot, Furfru, Tiano, All Night Party, Stantler, Reverse Common Spritzy, and that's Seedy Hypno. Get out of my face. Not interested in you. Three so what have we got? We have two breaks and we've got five standard pulls. So we're expecting one more pull out of these last three packs. So hitting the one in three pack ratio. If we manage to get an extra pull, that would be amazing. But who knows? Who knows? So let's go. We are due for another code card, I believe. So first in, best dress for that one. Throw that off to the side. And let's go. We have a normal Shinx, Chikorita, Clefairy, Time Pole, Max Potion, Sigalith, Reverse Valley number two of the box, a Reverse Mawa, which is just an uncommon, whoop, and a Lilligant regular rare. I believe this is her second appearance of the box as well. So it's always nice not to see too much of um, the rares, you know what I mean? Just repetitive rares. One or two times is pretty sweet, I'd say, in our box. But yeah, let's go. This pack feels fairly packed. Feels as if it's packed fairly tightly. So let's um, hope for the best. Hope for the best. But let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So we got a Spritzy, Shinx, a Hoon Edge, Pancham, Staryu, 
Another reverse valley, so that's three reverse valleys. I don't usually see that too often. Go Gabite. Delinquent. A reverse cricket tot. That one's a common. And a Garchomp Hollow. Okay, so that may potentially be the last pull of the box, considering we've only got the one luxury break pack up to go. But it's not a bad hollow. Not a bad hollow at all. It's definitely very playable. Turbo Turbo Assault and Bite Off. Yeah. But yeah. Let's continue on to the final pack of my case opening. It is a sad day to be cracking into this pack, but also it is a good day too because, yeah, like I said um, earlier on, probably, in, I don't know if I said it in part one or this part, but um, it does mean that Face Clyde is just another step closer. And I can move on to possibly doing the recap video for this uh for this case and all that sort of jazz which is always fun i do i do quite enjoy doing those um other kind of side videos off the main um main theme uh, mainstream kind of o openings that i do but yeah we've got a numal we've got shinx chikorita i once seen into the delphox break in the future <laughs> we've got clef fairy timpile electivire Splash Energy, Pseudo Widow, a Reverse Common Ducklet, and the final card of my last box from the case is a Zeb Striker, a regular rare. But that is all good, that is all good. We did get some solid, solid pulls in this box. We did not get the Espeon EX Flight or the Skylight EX Flight that, that we were after today, but we did get all these goodies plus these reverse rares as well. So let's quickly sort these out. Um, we want this one first. Then we want that one. That one. That one. That one. Oh, and we got two Aegis Slash again. God damn it, there's always a double. They're just like... Why do they do that? Oh no, that's a reverse. My bad. My bad. But yeah, let's just go with that. There's a lot of kind of cards to sort through there. But let's just go with this. So we've got the Reverse Aegis Slash, which is a rare. And we got the Sloking and Meganium. Mo moving on to Hollows, we got a Reverse Hol a Hollow, sorry, Sloking, Hollow Aegis Slash, and a Hollow Garchomp. Breaks in this part, we've got a Trevenant Break and a Golduck Break. It's awesome to um actually spoiler alert but um this is three breaks for the box if you guys have not seen part number one we also pulled a greninja break as well so that makes three which is always good um on the break side of things moving on to the ultras we got gyarados ex and palkia ex and then of course for the full art pull of the box we got mega gyarados ex full art so yeah, um, today we have a themed, themed, themed booster box opening to finish off the case. Um, I actually pulled, so we got the Gyarados EX, we've got the Gyarados EX Full Art in part number one, and then we've got the Mega Gyarados EX Full Art as well. So um, que my question of this video would definitely have to be, have you guys ever, if you've opened up a, bo a Breakpoint booster box, or like just any booster box in general actually, um, have you guys got a themed boost box where the majority of the ultras have been kind of like the same, completing like the same kind of evolution line in the set? But yeah, let me know in the comment section below if that has happened to you guys before. Um, be sure to drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed my final breakpoint boost box opening. Let me know in the comment section below about that. And subscribe if you're new to my channel or if you just enjoyed today's opening. And I'll see you guys in another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings. Thanks for watching. Peace.